a small step from annihilation to That's a steal. Their occupation of cloud nine That's a steal. If there ever was a steal, that's a steal. Because I was just tweeting out that Liverpool actually only picked up six points in their first five matches. And with the last kick of the game, Fabio Cavallo, a player that I've been talking up quite a lot. A player I think is Liverpool's answer to the midfield woes. Where Liverpool are actually rumored to be looking for a quality midfielder, Cavallo is that man. Cavallo is that man. Newcastle fans and Newcastle players would feel very, very disappointed and don't feel really aggrieved here that the, the, the referee didn't blow the whistle. But you got to play until the last whistle goes, right? You can't switch off and say, hey, blow the whistle, blow the whistle. And you got to give credit to Liverpool for staying in the match believing that they could win the game and going on to do that with the last kick of the freaking game i predicted a liverpool win and i was surprised that the game was 1-1 for so long and that even newcastle scored even with the absence of bruno gimoresh alan st maximum colum wilson i know alexander isaac came in and did his thing and Liverpool weren't clinical enough on the day in front of goal. But at the end of the day, a win is a win, man. A win is a win. A win is a win. Look, I was watching the Man City Nottingham Forest game. City won 6-0. I'll talk about that one a little later. And the only reason why I'm talking about this right now is because of how the manner in which Liverpool went on to win this game. That's absolutely nuts. And I know Liverpool fans are going crazy right about now. I know you are. This must feel really good. This must feel good. It, it must feel better than the 9-0 jobbing that you give to, to Bournemouth last week. It must feel good because you are staring down another draw. Dropping two points. Being seven points behind City. Now it's only five. But... The win would be massive in terms of keeping that momentum going, keeping up that winning mentality and just the, the morale and the confidence of the players. Because at one point, Liverpool looked kind of dejected. He looked dejected. They looked dejected. And you got to give it to Klopp. I started watching this game when the City Forest game went to um, halftime. And... Then I had to tune back into the game and I, I missed the Isaac goal. So when I tuned back in, I was like, whoa, Newcastle are actually winning the game. And then Bobby Firmino with the goal, he's been in good form. Good goal scoring form at Anfield as well. And you got to give him a lot of credit because you see how hard he works. He plays way deep in Liverpool's third of the field and goes up. So you got to give him credit for being a hard working attacking player. I don't know if he's a striker, but he, he he's like, maybe he got the license to free roam. But he scored. Liverpool came back in the game. And Klopp, you got to give Klopp a lot of credit as well. You got to give Klopp a lot of credit. I want to actually look back and, uh, and see when Klopp made these substitutions. Because it was pretty so far, gutsy to take off both Trent and Robertson and take off Henderson as well. It, 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 showed, it showed a lot of guts. It really showed a lot of guts from um, from Jurgen Klopp because, you know, Trent and Robertson is where the creativity lies. And I've been talking up Cavalio. If you guys don't believe me, go and check out my last um, live stream, um, the, 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 the preview. And I've been talking up Cavalio and he's delivering. Liverpool don't need to really go out and splash the cash on a big midfielder because as rumors suggest, they're hard to find. They're very, very difficult to find. And I, 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 I mentioned that Cavalier could be the man because Liverpool, I think, needs a midfielder that's going to give you goals. And you could see that. Back-to-back -back games he scored. And this is a massive goal, man. He, he'll never forget this goal. He'll never, ever forget this goal because that goal is a match-winning goal in a game where they, they, they look like they were going to drop points. And they could have dropped all three points too because 
If you go back and you see the, the Alexander Isaac goal that was shocked off as well, offside, they could have they could have dropped points. But look, Liverpool had no reason really not to win this game because if we go to the stats here, right? Just to go back to the, the goals and when they were scored and everything. And Firmino in the 61st minute, Isaac with the first goal, the equalizer by Firmino in the 61st minute. In terms of the, the, the substitutions, I actually want to see when the substitutions were made. You know, I want to just click on the timeline here and go back to the substitutions when Milner and Co came on. I, I, I don't agree with Milner coming on, but yeah, that's actually after the goal was scored. So it showed after Klopp equalized that he was going for the win. He's like, uh, 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 we're getting, you know, we're looking kind of suspect here. Trent, Robertson looking a little tired. They played on the weekend. They've been playing every game. And Simicus coming on. And I talk about how Simicus brings impetus to the Liverpool's attack as well. And Milner came on. Utility man Milner for Henderson. And Cavalier for Trent Alexander-Arnold. The game changer. The talisman there. He, he could actually be Liverpool's new talisman now. From the midfield, the, the 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 player that Liverpool have been looking for all along, Fabio Cavallo. They know why they sign him, and he is repaying dividends early in his Liverpool career. And I like that. I like to see a young player shine, man. Seriously, I like to see a young player shine. And look, as a Man City fan watching this, of course, of course, it would have feel it would have felt better if Liverpool. Lost or draw the game. But in all fairness, you got to give Liverpool credit. And I actually want them as well. It's, it's kind of weird. It feels good when they lose, right? Or draw. But then again, you want that competition. If you guys understand what I'm saying. You want that, that rivalry, that competition. I don't want us to be in November and Liverpool are like way fighting for, for a Europa League place. And it's Arsenal and Man City in the running for the for the freaking title, and and you, you you know what's inevitable. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, gotta give Liverpool a lot of credit, man, because that that right there, that right there, massive, 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 massive win. Massive. If that ever was, if that ever was a massive win, that's one of them. That is one of them. That was brilliant. That was indeed brilliant, man. I, I'm telling you, I was I was tweeting out. I was getting ready to tweet out the draw. And I had to just, I just added, okay, delete. You know what I'm saying? I, I tweeted it out still, but I was like, okay, delete. You know, so as I said, no way Liverpool should have not won the game based on the stats, based on the, the 11 that they put out versus the 11 that Newcastle put out, right? 23 shots at goal for Liverpool, but they weren't clinical enough in the final third, right? I remember the first shot, shot and goal was from Harvey Elliott, if I'm not mistaken. And then the second shot was the goals Firmino scored. They ended up putting six on target. They had 72% of the ball. Newcastle only with 28% of the ball. And I know most Newcastle fans thought that they were going to go on to lose this game, which they eventually did, but... Hope they, they got hope with the Isaac goal and the way they set up the low block and they were compact and guys like Dan Byrne and Lascelles and you know all these guys putting their bodies on the line. Joel Linton I think had a really good game. Five shots, two on target, one in the back of the net. Not bad at all, if you ask me. But they must be really aggrieved. I I personally look. Liverpool won. They won the game, but I think the whistle should have blown. The whistle should have gone. But then again, maybe you could blame Joel Linton for when he ran into the corner, he should have actually kept the ball and burned down the time. But he tried to go for glory and actually cross the ball in for a winner, which eventually Liverpool took it back up the field. And it was a scrappy goal, but, you know, put into the back of the net nevertheless, man. It was, you, you know, you got to give Nick Pope a lot of credit as well. He repelled City and he did well to... You know, repel Liverpool whenever he could. But at the end of the day, wasn't enough. Wasn't enough, man. Wasn't enough. But that's what we love, man. We love good football. We love exciting stuff. I love the rivalry. You know what I'm saying? 
kudos to Newcastle for actually competing and they, lost, they, they, lost, they lose their first game of the season. They've been doing well. They've been doing well. And just to check the table really quick, I'll talk about this game some more. This is just an instant reaction. You know, um, I'm pumped up because, you know, you're watching this game and you're like, okay, Liverpool are about to drop the points right now. You know, I'm about to, you know, mess with a couple of Liverpool fans on Twitter. And then you're like, whoa, ecstasy for the Reds. <laughs> so Liverpool jump up to fifth. With nine points, and that's what um, Arsenal. Well, eight points. Pardon me. It's a goal difference of nine. I'm I'm looking at the wrong thing. Arsenal uh, seven points ahead with 15 points, perfect. And Man City uh, 13 points, which means Liverpool uh, five points behind City. Tottenham drew their game. They got 11 points. And Brighton they lost their last game. They have 10 points. So Liverpool are actually creeping up. Whereas in match day six, you know, they could jump into the top four, you know what I mean? So look, what a win, look, at, look at what a win could do. It could make your record look so much better. Two wins, two draws, and a loss, that looks a lot better than one win, three draws, and a loss. But hard luck to Newcastle. For them, they dropped down to 11th. That's their first loss. They got three draws and a win. They do have six points on the table right now. So, you know, Eddie Howe, he has not done well historically against both Liverpool and Klopp. And that record, you know, stays put. But look, Salah. Let's talk about Salah briefly. Yet another game has not scored. Luis Diaz worked very, very hard in the game. Harvey Elliott, I think, looks like, you know, once he keeps playing, he's going to develop. He's going to develop into a really good player. Liverpool fans are going to, you know, question Henderson. I think Fabinho put in a good effort. From what I saw, from what I saw in the game, you know, Van Dijk and Joe Gomez didn't really have much to really contest with. You know, a few little mistakes by Gomez, but he recovered well. Allison, not really much to do, you know. But at the end of the day, I think it was a masterclass decision by Jurgen Klopp. Those changes... And the personnel that he took off and the players that he brought on, with the exception of Milner, by the way. You know, I'm not a, you know, <laughs> I'm not a big advocate for pushing James Milner when you have youth. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, credit to him as well. Credit to him as well. You know what I'm saying? Credit, credit. Credit goes to him as well. You know, I don't want to sound like that. You know what I mean? He's a former Newcastle man, a former Man City player. So I don't want to come off like that. But, guys, these are just my thoughts, you know, on the game. I never expected Newcastle to do anything, but they played well. They fought well. Isaac looks like a hell of a player. And when they do have St. Maximan and Bruno Gimoresh back, you know, they, they will continue to be a force to be reckoned with, man. So, look, just a, you know, spur the moment video. Looking kind of rusty, right? You know, still okay. But, you know what I mean? I haven't made one of these videos sitting by the, the, the dining room table in a while. You know what I mean? Remember the classics right here? Yeah, I made a lot of classics from here, though. But look, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the other games in a live stream. And I'll talk about the Man City game as well. So, um, it's on, guys. It is on. Liverpool, say, don't count us out. <laughs> That's what they say right about now, man. But um, look, I'm trying to be in England. For the Liverpool Man City game, October 16th. Bring it on!